In this video, I'm going to show you how to use method expressions to add new queries to an Apache Delta Spike repository. All right, so I'm going to use this project that I created in a different video, uh, link in the description. And it basically has uh, uh, Jakarta E and JPA and uh, Apache Delta Spike configured already. Uh, and in that video, I created this very, very simple view that only uh, shows a notification with the number of users in the uh, database. Uh, so this is using uh, this method from the user repository interface that we defined, but th that we don't have to implement. And it comes from, uh, from Apache Delta Spike. Now, what I would like to show you is how to use uh, some, of, some of the um, other methods that are available in the uh, repository um, interface that we have, and also how to add new methods and um, that, that define, define new um, queries. So for example, let's say we want to have a new grid here of users. Let's pass the user class here. And we can, we can say, well, we can first configure maybe uh, set columns set columns, um, let me uh, refresh my memory here. We have ID, email, birth, birthday. So probably we want the email and birthday. We don't want to show the um, the ID in the user interface. And then we can set the items. It's kind of the rows. And for that, we can use the user repository, find all. So all the users in the, in the database are gonna be um, shown in this, uh, in this grid. All right, so let me compile this and let's see if we can uh, we can see all the data in the um, in the browser. There we go. So we have the two columns and the data from the MySQL database that we uh, uh, initialized in the in the previous video. Uh, so good. Uh, but what if we want to add a filter? For example, new text field. Let's call this. Um, well, let's call this filter and we can add it on top of this and the filter set placeholder we're gonna say filter by email and we need to add a value change listener that we can implement um, like this now Inside this uh, method, what we want is uh, is a new method from the repository that we don't have. We cannot use anything that is here to filter by email because the repository itself, as it is right now, it doesn't know anything about emails, right? Uh, so none of these uh, work. So we need to create a custom method there. So let me open this class or uh, interface. And now, the cool thing about Apache Delta Spike uh, uh, data, in this case, data is the module of Apache Delta Spike, uh, is that you, you can implement the, or the name of the method becomes the implementation of the query. So it depends on which words you use uh, in the method, and then Apache Delta Spike uh, kind of inspect, inspects this uh, um, interface and creates the appropriate query. So for example, if we start with find, then Apache Delta Spike is going to return a list of users. And we, we say find by something something in the user class. And so we have email here, right? So we can say email. It needs to match exactly what we have in the user class. Find by an email and then we pass, um, yeah, we pass a string that is going to be uh, used in the query, right? So this method is going to return a list of users that have that exact email. So we can use it here, for example, um, user repository find by email. Now we have that. And which email? So whatever it's in the filter, filter that get value. And this is going to return a list of users. Let's use list because I have the variable users. I didn't have any other, so we can call this users. And now uh, we say uh, grid set items users. And 
I think that's it. So let's uh, try to compile this and, and see if it works. All right, so the text field is here, filtered by email. And then I have to use the, uh, the uh, actual, the exact email. So test, for example, test2 at test.com, enter, and it's filtered. Of course, I cannot, I cannot use it like part of it because we are, we are, um, we are using find by email so that this means exactly this email and and nobody has uh, an email that, it, that it's only the word test for example so how how to solve that well um, we can change um, we can add things to the name of this query so I'm going to actually let me do it here so you get the idea like okay, I'm gonna rename this method email like right so I need the email should be like this and like in the sense of uh, SQL queries, right? When you use the like operator in SQL, uh, so this uh, will uh, give me some more flexibility to filter here in the user interface, like a part of the of the email. So, for example, number two. Uh, so I can use these characters, but it's the number two, and now it filters. Now, of course, we can move these characters from here to there. So one way of doing it is like this. So put the characters right here I should actually put it in a, in the in the query but uh, you get the idea so let's see if this works so I don't have to to type any you know, uh, strange characters here or teach my users uh, how to use those characters so number two it works number three number one if it's a number that doesn't exist doesn't show anything if I leave it empty and hit enter then I get everything because now this expression is only these two characters right and uh, so that's the idea really with uh, apache delta spike data you uh, implement the queries using um, the name of the method that becomes almost like the implementation uh, i think there is even a um a, there is a what was it called like a containing like a find by email containing so you don't have to do this uh but um i tested that some hours ago and it didn't, didn't work for me for some reason didn't have time to really investigate what was going on there could be something with the versions of the libraries that I'm using it's not compatible or um, a configuration issue uh, but anyway in the documentation of Apache Delta Spike you find uh, very good information and a list of all the uh, suffixes and, and, and all, the, all the words that you can use here um, to construct the queries that you can combine you can say find by email and uh, I don't know uh, what birthday or something like that so um, uh, it, it's pretty powerful uh, it's very easy to build these uh, queries it supports uh, pagination and stuff so you can uh, do a uh, lazy loading with the with the grid component and uh, yeah definitely check it out and uh, let me know, let me know what you think and uh, also let me know if you have any other um, questions regarding this video or ideas on what to cover in future videos Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.